Hey, it's Lucy. First things first, because I know this will be the top voted comment on this video. Yes, I know, I resigned myself to this, nailed my own coffin, made my own bed, and all of that lot by choosing to write my thesis in word and not latex. I know, but I'm a technophobe. I like what I know. I've been using words since the days of the friendly paperclip and writing a thesis is hard enough without teaching yourself an entire new coding language to do so. Now that's out of my system. Microsoft Word. Thesis writing. I liked writing my thesis in Word. I had no trouble. I wrote each of my chapters as a separate document and formatted them as I went along to save a big job at the end. And then when it came to the end, I pasted them all into one admittedly precariously, monstrously long document and then exported it as a PDF. It worked for me, but it's not always intuitive, Microsoft Word. Um, sometimes you just don't like it very much. Um, and so this is a video of a compilation of a couple of tips I picked up along the way that made things a lot easier for me. And one or two tips I've learned since that I'm really annoyed that I didn't know at the time. So here goes. Number one, take advantage of the styles list. Never used this before my thesis, but when you have a contents page that looks like this, there are two very obvious reasons for using this function. One, that's a lot of headers to manually bold or increase in size or centralize or what have you. And two, if you don't use this function, then you are condemning yourself to maybe a day or week to manually copying and pasting every header, every subheader, every sub subheader, as well as the page numbers, and it's absolutely unthinkable. Edit styles you're likely to use like this, and stick to a handful so that you remember which corresponds to which section type. Use while you write, not after, so that you can stay on top of this as you go, because it's dead easy and it saves you a job later. Then, when you're ready, insert your contents page, make it look nice, and that is that. Given that your thesis will have to have a contents page, this is about as easy as it gets for something mandatory. Number two, and this is a quick but astonishingly useful one, you can amend this little bar thing at the top of the page. Look at it right now. There's two save buttons, there's undo and redo, which I just use keyboard shortcuts for, and I don't even know what this thing is. Press this little button here. Press more commands, go to all commands, and then you get this massive, massive list of every possible function you could ever think of. Remove all this loser stuff and add in whatever you use often that there isn't a keyboard shortcut for, or maybe you just want it empty and minimal. Number three, quick shortcut blast. Control command minus for Mac, or control and equals for Windows, subscript. Control command shift minus for Mac, or control shift plus for Windows, superscript. Command K for Mac, or control K for Windows, insert hyperlink. Command alt shift V for Mac, and I don't think an equivalent exists in Windows. This is paste as text without formatting, endlessly useful. Command shift H for Mac, or control H for Windows, search and replace, and this one is amazing. Search and replace double spaces for single, these things always sneak in. Search and replace EG or E dot G or E dot G dot for E dot G dot comma, which is the correct way, or, or do it, you know, whichever way you like to do, even though you're wrong. I know it sounds finicky and you will never not have typos in a document this size, but that bloody well won't stop me from trying. Number four, and this one I only learned about after submission, which, so when inserting my figures, I did this. I gave each figure a unique name that wasn't numbered so that I could, you know, switch paragraphs around, I could rearrange the order, I could copy sections to different places and it wouldn't matter. And then I used find and replace to find and replace figure underscore name for figure one. It actually worked really well for me. I just did this at the very last job, after the last comments from my advisor, after references had been added in, when I knew there would be no more shuffling around. But what you could do is this. Click on your figure. Go to References at the top of the page, go to Insert Caption, and add in your caption. This is now Figure 1, but if you were to add in a figure before this, then that would become Figure 1. And if you told the page to refresh, it would auto-update this figure here into Figure 2. Meanwhile, you want to reference these figures in your text. In References again, click on Cross Reference. Reference type is Figure. You just want to click Only Label and Number, otherwise it will insert the whole caption. And look, now you have an active link to that figure, whatever that number is. And now if you ever need to insert a list of figures and tables, because this function also works for tables, there at the top is insert table of figures. It's a very, very clever function that I did not know about, so I would like you to learn from my suffering. And number five for my top word hack of all time, this little button up here, and this function right here. 
and then this, and this, and this, back up, wait for it, back up the backups of your backups, back up the backups of your backups. Word does not continually save, word glitches and shuts down. Computers too, sometimes just glitch and shut down, and sometimes they never open up again. Back it up. I saw a haunting photo on Twitter once and it was a picture of a note pinned to a lamppost and it said, my car was stolen from this point. If it was you, I don't care about the car, but my laptop was in the back. It had all my data on it, all my thesis on it, and I'm supposed to submit next week. Please, can you send me the laptop? Back up the backups of your backups. To conclude, Microsoft Word, it does the job. Use your fancy latex, I admire you. Wait a minute, it's LaTeX. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole video. But Word, thank you, thank you, Word. Bloody hard job, well done. And Word didn't make it any more difficult than it needed to be. Hope the tips helped. Keep writing, keep going, get the job done. And if you're after more productivity videos, I will link to my playlist of them in the box thing down below. Or if I'm really clever, I might figure out how to overlay them on this video. Until then, thanks for watching. My name is Lucy Kizik. I'm a PhD student at the University of Oxford and I'm a chemist in the nuclear industry and take care.